can I take a cheap store-bought cake and make it look like a super fancy custom-made cake? My husband challenged me because he thinks not even I can make one of these cheap grocery store cakes look fancy. Here are the issues that I have with this. I have no idea what the filling is. If it's going to be sturdy enough when it comes to room temperature, I don't know if the cake will be sturdy enough. I don't know if it tastes good. So I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know what else could go wrong because honestly, this is gonna work, so. So I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna pick one up and R3, and then we're gonna see how this goes. We'll be a little more creative because I'm kind of out of cake. So let's see, the first part, I'm gonna cut out a circle of the chocolate cake, that's totally perfect. But now the vanilla cake, I'm gonna get creative and I am going to piece together two halves and a little bit more to make this work. And I hope the, the chocolate cake seems a little sturdier, so I'm hoping it's gonna support the, the top vanilla part. And then again, a little bit of the repurposed icing, crumb coated and refrigerated. It is time for the structure, which is gonna be the most crucial part right now because if I don't get this right, the whole cake could crumble and fall and I don't want that to happen. So I am going to prove Danny wrong. I can do this. I'm gonna use some smoothie straws to support the second tier so that the cake on top is gonna to be completely leveled. And now carefully, I am going to start stacking my cakes. I am also going to use a wooden dowel in the middle to make sure that this cake doesn't go anywhere. I picked up all of these decorations at my craft store. They were all on sale. I think I ended up spending about $18 in total and I'm not gonna use them all. So I'm going to separate them all and make them cake friendly. And then I'm gonna decorate the cake. very elegant looking cake. I think it looks wonderful. Um, we're not gonna say anything. It has a slight crack on the back and if you really notice, it's kind of slanting. I think it might be melting a little bit, but I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. It was about $12 for each cake, about $18 for the decorations, which I didn't actually use all of them, but I ended up spending about $54 and I bet 
$50, so I technically, I'm down $4. I kind of won the bet, but lost $4. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because I get to tell my husband he was wrong. And that is absolutely priceless because I did it. I promised I would share how much I would charge for a cake like this. And if I had a picture of this and somebody asked me about how much I would charge for it, it would probably be somewhere between $350 and $400 for a cake that feeds about 35 people at least. If you like watching videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos like this and I get to share with you a whole bunch of different things and tips for baking. Don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye.